to the workshop of Nino Mallet. My name's Russ. And my name's Lynette. In these videos, we like to give you a close up and personal presentation of our products. In today's video, we'd like to talk about our most popular item, which is our um, small bench chest. When I was designing this bench chest, I took the base idea from a 16th century uh, bench. And I was thinking, well, why not just extend the bottom, put a bottom on it, and put a lid on it, and make it into a bench chest. So this is based off of a 16th century bench, but into a chest, thus bench chest. Most chests prior to the 16th century were constructed of six plank boards. Later, um, they extended uh, the sides to create legs as in our design here. And uh, the reason to extend the legs is to give the chest into like, a bench so that you actually have something to sit on, which was a dual purpose for the furniture. Our chest features a removable lid so you can store stuff in it. The lid itself is 8 inches wide with uh, 17 and a half long. The base is 20 inches by 11 inches. And for capacity we have, for storage capacity, is 0.6 cubic feet of uh, storage that we can put inside. Our chests come available in honey as you see here, English oak, and black walnut. Now we get to talk about how we seal and how we take care of the wood and the chest. All right. All of our products are sealed with boiled linseed, which is a natural way of sealing your wood. And it's not too far from the historical way. Not done exactly the same, but pretty close. Who wants horse urine on their chest, really? That's actually for um, changing colors and oh, but. It works, right? <laughs> so, we have boiled linseed, uh, which gives a good um, protection. And on top of that, on top of that, what we recommend is putting Howard's Feed and Wax on the products. Now, we put this on before we ship out, so as a fresh um, smelling, orange smelling, beeswax and orange oil. It protects the wood from moisture, from rain, from anything that could do damage. Now this this has to be applied several times a year. It's a very light rub down. Basically if you're going to take this out into rainy weather or any of our products out in rainy weather, you just put a little bit on a rag, wipe it on and let it sit 15 minutes and quickly wipe it off. Very simple. This can be bought in your normal stores, Freddy's, probably Walmart might even have it, who knows. Ace Hardware. Ace, uh, uh, Home Depot, and Lowe's. They all have it. A good habit might to be after every event, just to, just to rub it on all your furniture, just as a protectant. So if you treat your furniture right, it will last for years. Yes. And I do want to give one note. Do I want to give one note? Well, we'll but we, we didn't say anything about the, uh, the routing. Oh, I so, I've been making furniture for about a year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, I started to come up with a way, I did not like the way standard routing was, where you just route around everything and made it look all universal, plain, plain Jane. Hopefully your name's not Jane or Plain. <laughs> so <laughs> I came up with this with this design. I, I I probably didn't come up with it, but this is what I, I figured out on my own. Um, is that you leave the edges. So basically, you have some routing, and you got some standard square work, and together it makes a very unique unique um, uh, design. 
Now with the chest here, you can see we got some routing down here and we got some nice fancy leg work in here. And I also want to give one last note on this bench chest. We forgot to talk about the lining of the bottom, mm -hmm. the bottom floor. You want to tell them what that's, what that's made out of? The bottom is made out of red cedar. And so it gives it a little scent, um, perfectly safe to probably keep your woolens and your linens in here, and um, the moths will stay away. Yes. And makes it look historical. It's a very nice looking chest. want to say thank you so much for liking our video. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe to see more videos and don't forget to like us on Facebook. Yes.